you know, I, I, I set up for this. I decided I was going to make my very first video, and I was going to make it about a mod pack. I, I really, really like Technofirma. It's a mod pack for Terraforma Craft. It's available on the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, you just need to put in the code Technofirma. And these stinking pheasants decided to come and crash my party. I'm running around now. The background noises. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear those. That was not intentional, but I'm too lazy to do it again. So there we go. Uh, we're going to get started here. I was debating whether or not to do like a full tutorial style series. Um, I can still do some tutorial videos if people want to, but I kind of figure if you're watching this video, you probably know how Terraforma Craft works. If not, you should be playing basic Terraforma Craft before you get into one of the, the more complicated packs like this. Um, I'm just going to get started, get some rocks and things, get some tools going. Maple, let's have a look. And what else have we got? Maple, ash. Uh, maple's quite nice. I'm not a big fan of ash. Andesite's a good s stone to start with. Andesite's a good stone to start with. Um, it has a lot of the things we need, like copper, I'm pretty sure. And bismuth. Okay, bismuth. What's that? Oh, that's an old bookmark. Bismuth. Whoa, computer's doing weird things. This is how I like to do my bookmarks with this map writer. Um, you basically give a name to a group, and then you can select that group and only see bookmarks from that that group. So if you put everything under copper, like tetrahedrite, malachite, and all of that stuff, and you decide you need copper later on, you can just filter to the, the copper group, and it'll show all your all the different copper veins you've found. Uh, let's keep exploring a bit. I need to find some some clay. Zombie? What are you doing there? Oh, and spider. He's not a joke. Spiders are just as evil in this as they are in Terraforma Craft. There's a lot of... Um, Terraforma Craft changes the way damage works. I'm not going to talk too much about in this, but the short version is spiders do a type of damage that you don't really get a lot of immunity to, and they're also not really especially weak to any of the damage types you can you can do, um, which means they, they kill you, and they're hard to kill in turn. I'm just going to keep exploring here. It'd be nice to find some copper as well. I'm pretty sure it spawns in Andesite. Maybe, allegedly. Got lots of food around too, which is nice. Not... It's not mature yet. It's not fully grown. Ooh, yellow pepper. I could probably eat that, actually, but we don't need to just yet. We'll let it grow for a bit longer. Was that copper? No, I'm seeing things. I'm not crazy. Uh, let's go down here. This is something I've seen a lot of people asking about early game. Oh, taking inventory. Go me. You don't actually need to make knives for this. You can actually use your fists, but I've got the tools. I have the technology, so why not? There we go. You need food early game, or say you log into the public server, and it's the middle of winter, which it always feels like it's winter there. Seaweed, grab it. Ugh, if you can catch it before it flies away. Boom. If you've got loads of stuff in your inventory and you want to stack them, just mouse over them. Press S. There you go. you got a little bit of food. It's not going to get us through the winter, but it'll certainly get us through the day. Okay, let's keep exploring. Oh, how do we get up from here now? Ah, mistakes were made. Okay. Pick us more food while we're here. Come on. There we go. I'm probably going to get a lot of lag spikes. Um, my computer can barely handle the pack as it is, so trying to do it whilst recording is... Well, it's, it's optimistic, I think, but I decided to do it just for fun anyway. Yeah, see, there we go. Another spike. Tell you what, I'm actually going to stop recording for a bit. I'm going to keep exploring until I find something useful, um, and I will cut back in. Oh, berry bushes. Oh, lag spike. So what do we got here? Elderberry. Nice. I'll take them. I found a little bit of clay earlier as well. Um, it, it's getting pretty dark now. I think I'm basically just going to hide in a hole for the night. I don't want to die if I can possibly help it. Uh, so I will cut back when it's morning or when I find something. Okay, I, I literally just stopped recording and there was copper right here. <laughs> okay, so I'll be with you guys. Actually, let's let's show you how, I, how I'm going to hide for the night. It's not complicated. You literally just dig a hole. 
got a couple of logs. I used to an axe to get those. Boom. Now it's dark. It's scary. I can watch this thing, and when it gets to daytime, I will be back. Uh, might may have a little bit of an issue here. The, the zombies seem to have found me. Now, where's? Oh, it's dark. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, mistakes are made. This is going to take more than one axe, I think. Er, die. XP is actually pretty good in this if you can get it. The more XP you have, the the more health you have. Oh, stupid things. This this may or may not actually be my fault. I decided to, to go out and do some productive things during the night. So I got some straw. I was going to make a pit kill and get a vessel. You know, like a water jug. Why are there so many zombies? Ugh, one of them found me. And then all the others found me as well. Yeesh. Now I'm stuck on this stupid log. Okay. Okay, that seems peaceful. Yes, yes, we're okay. All right, I'll cut back in when it's day. Okay, that was a rough night. It's nearly over now. We're we're getting up towards dawn. Um, yeah, right after I stopped recording, a zombie came along, fell into this hole, and I thought, hey, I'll just kill a couple more. Um, and he picks me up out of the hole, starts carrying me around on his shoulders while his friends try to kill me. That was that was fun. And then just after that, a spider turns up and decides he's gonna camp on top of my little log here so I had to try and kill him without getting murdered myself yeah it's all right we made it here comes the dawn I hear a deer in the background there somewhere as well let's go out this way oops wrong way this way where's that deer Went through quite a few axes as well because beating on a spider, like I like I said earlier, they have high resistances to pretty much everything. You just have to go through tool after tool until you get some decent weapons late game. Always oh, down there. Don't know if I can be bothered. Um, uh, where do I want to go? I thought I saw. Yeah, over there. There's some ores. So in fact, we will go down there. I picked up that copper during the night as well. Let's see if we can get some leather. Nice. Piece of medium hide. Some some meat we can cook if we want to. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm going to have to get a water jug at some point. Galena lead. It's not useless, like the tooltip says. Lead? I think it was normal quality, wasn't it? Yeah, normal quality. We will be using that for electrical age later on. But for now, bookmark it, keep moving. I would like to get some fresh water, actually, before... Hunger actually is not so much of an issue in this. It's pretty easy to get food. Just find some seaweed. Like, we're surrounded by it here. There's crops all on the mainland. Water, yeah, like, hunger as well. If you run out of hunger, you get weakness. Um, mining fatigue. Holy cow. This shoreline, man. Um, but, like, it's not going to kill you. Thirst will. Thirst will definitely kill you. Oh, what's this? Dolomite. Okay. No, I'm actually going to make some ladders. Oh, I can't make ladders because I haven't got my crafting grid yet. Oh, oh lord. Run. Oh, I'm not equipped for this. Everything is so slow. Oh, my days. Okay, right. Oh, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Keep going. Ah, can I get up here? Yes! <laughs> We've escaped. Let's keep going. Was that fresh water over here? Please? No, another deer, though. Right, this is going to be pretty painful. Me just slowly crawling around until I find some fresh water. So I'm going to cut again, and I'll be back if something interesting happens. Oh, so painful. Oh, fresh water. Thank goodness for that. 
I don't have anything to drink it with, so I'm gonna have to use my use my hands. Jump in, hold right click, fill up your thirst. I'll do that the rest of the way in the sec. But I also saw this tree over here. You're gonna die soon. All right. Oh, and all your friends as well. So much leather, it's going to be great. You also, from them, get these um, deer bladders. It's the water sack mod. It's recently added so you can get bladders from animals other than sheep. And green apples, fantastic. Let's see if we can get a couple of saplings. One. Ah! <sighs> Should have known. Ooh, logs, okay. Silver linings. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that, that tree's not regrowing. I heard the grass sounds. I thought it was a deer. I thought, wait a minute. So surprised I didn't die there. Okay, well, fine. We got a sapling. Not the end of the world. <laughs> no point bookmarking that tree. Uh, I'm going to cut, and I'll be back. Well, I'm just passing the night. I lighted a, I lit a couple of, of pit kilns here. Um, just making, like, a couple of water jugs. Something to carry around on my back to do some exploring. Cooking up some food. I've cooked my venison. Cooking my potato just because there was some fuel left. These are chestnut logs. I think these are the ones that dropped from that fruit tree. I don't know if that's a bug or not or if there's actually chestnut trees over there. I might go check later. Yeah, there we go. Cooked potato. That'll be fine. Why not? Seaweed. Map-wise, I just had a crash. I did explore all the top of this island. Uh, this was pretty much all explored. Copper was down here somewhere. Uh, on this bottom island here. I don't know, I'll go back and check the video to figure out where that was. I lost the bookmarks as well, but I haven't explored this thing to the west. I'm a little bit afraid that it's a dead-end island as well. If that's the case, I might actually have to do some, um, what's it called, prospecting, when you you sift all the, the sand through the, the bowl to see if I can get some copper nuggets to get my basic tools going. I need to get an axe and make some... Like my expand my crafting grid so I can make boats and and get off this island, if if I'm stuck here. I don't know why there's not more copper. There should be copper spawning in these rock types. Hmm. So what time is it? It's hour two. One hour remaining on our pit kilns. Oh, just gotta wait till dawn and then hopefully we'll. Ooh, 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 ooh. here's something I can do. Let's go hunting. Ah ha ha. More leather. Excellent. Hmm. Oh, good. We're done. Right. So now, water jugs. Fantastic. You, I can use to store like saplings and berry bushes. I got a zombie head as well at some point. I don't know when. Just save up some space. You, I will pick up for storage. You can put this on your back. You can use it to store items in and everything. I don't really need it just yet, but I will use it soon. Well, uh, let's get some water. And let's go. Oh, I didn't realize I had more venison there. Let's see if I can cook that up while this is... All this is going. All right, yeah, it's still pretty dark. I'll finish cooking this, and then I'll cut back in while I'm exploring. Just doing a quick scout around, making sure there's no more creepers. Because I just found another fruit tree. We've got red apple, so let's get that. One sapling. None. Oh, no, I think I got one there. Oh, we're doing really well. Three. Three. Three saplings, that ain't bad. And I'll leave that. This tree, as long as it doesn't explode, will grow back. Okay, so what have we got? Yeah, I can see that skeleton over there. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike there. Let's keep going. I have fallen asleep a few times while running that bar in the top left. Endermen, I do want some ender pearls, but I'm I'm really not equipped to deal with them right now. Man, there are deer everywhere on this island. Did I just see some ore? Yes, I did. What is this? Bismuth. Well, it's rich. Okay, I'm going to need it eventually. I'll mark it. Bismuth. Rich. Bismuth. 
Not what I'm looking for, but not terrible. Oh. Is this Douglas fir? Okay. Now, allegedly in this pack, it's been changed so that saplings do not drop from trees. So let's just test on this one because so I can reach this one. Any saplings? Any saplings? I gotta say, it's looking like it's true. If that's the case... Oh, these things are scaring me. I'm paranoid now. Um, if that's the case, we've got to be a little bit careful where we choose to live. Um, it's kind of like a, a real... Well, it's supposed to be... Make it more important where you site your base because you have to put it near whatever type of wood you want to use to build the forest will still regrow naturally you just can't get saplings from the tree and like transplant a forest somewhere where it wouldn't normally grow the trees will only grow in the areas where they they would spawn um i gotta say this is a little bit disappointing to find douglas fir this is a really good tree for making charcoal because of how long the trunk is and it still has a ton of leaves so you can use a scythe on that in normal terra firma craft you get tons of saplings and you still get a pretty rate of wood to turn into charcoal these guys will not shut up seriously but there's one tree here i'll we'll have to leave it and see what happens um i can see an island over there in the back in the distance oh there's tons more douglas fir fantastic oh this is gonna be painful to swim though isn't it yeah okay well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get some of this clay, uh, and then I'm going to go and explore that island some more, and we'll see what we can find. Interesting. This mountain just exploded around me. I don't think I managed to catch it on video, but what have we got here? Limonite. Good. Iron. Limonite. Iron. And it's normal quality. Okay. Okay. It looks like coal as well around the corner. Is that bismuth? Bismuth or coal? Let's find out. What's this? Schist. Yeah, coal. All right. Well, let's bookmark that as well. Ah, uh-oh. This place is not safe. I'm getting out of here. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to have to call it quits there for this episode. It's getting pretty long already. Um, yeah, I did find this cool little Thumbcraft ruin here. A bunch of arcane stone and some great wood planks. Um, I found a, a work table, an arcane work table in there with, a, with some scribing tools. So a little quick start for, for Thumbcraft if we, if we want to go down that route. I think what I need to do is get some copper tools going. I might do a little bit of of digging and exploring between episodes and see if I can get a little bit of a jump forward so we're not in the Stone Age for like six episodes. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I, I appreciate you following this through to the end. Uh, like I say, I'm brand new at this. If you have any feedback, suggestions, or, or things you hated, I am actually pretty happy to hear it. Just let me know in the comments. I am working on things like sound quality and video quality. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a learning curve, but expect those things to improve as time goes by. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Bye.